I move uh, parks and recreation. I wish you would. For $249,395. Did I get the fault again? again? 265. Yeah. Boy, oh boy, yeah. pretty good at Help that. me out then. Make 265 118. Sorry. Again. 265 118. And I'll second. Okay. Okay, moved by Mr. Jones, seconded by. No, Mr. Henderson, I seconded. Oh, okay. Moved by Mr. Henderson, seconded by Mr. Jones. So, hi. How are you? Um, would you like to go over your budget for us? Yep, there's Please. not a lot of changes, but there is one thing that I do want to discuss with you tonight. But um, the big changes that you'll see is gasoline and grounds and fields. We had to we had to add some stuff in for grounds and fields for buildings maintenance. So those are the big changes. We also added in. This is part of the parks department. We um, added in a. Uh, a second seasonal employee and both of those seasonal employees got a higher rate to go with public works because we were offering one at ten dollars per hour for <coughs> 740 hours and now we're offering two at fourteen dollars an hour to go along with public works Great. and the thing i guess i wanted to discuss with you and talk with you about is the two part-time parks employees that we have pretty much year-round the I had put in, what I had done was I had tried to put them in at X amount of hours for the summer season and then move them back down in the winter season and I was told that I couldn't do that. So that's what you were originally looking at. I had also given them pay raises because their pay raises are way, way low. So when it went to the Selectman's Board, they had removed the pay raises and moved them back to part-time employees, just 28 hours, but by doing that, they those two did not get a raise at all. So now this, uh, not the foreman, but the other almost year-round parks employee would be making less money than the two seasonal guys. So I'm wondering if we could put in raises for those two guys. Because they kind of got missed. Everybody else that works for me got like a 3% raise. Yeah. And that my intention is also to give anyone that's in the revolving fund a raise. Anything else that you want to mention? Other than that, those are the only real changes in okay. the budget. A question, if I may. Uh, no, hold on, just yeah, you can. But hold on, just for a moment. Um, when I noticed a couple of things that under supplies and expenses, I wondered why that had gone up quite a bit. But you have a note here, additional money for uh, copy or contract, so that explains it right there. Completely right. okay, so that's not a mystery. The um, the other thing that gasoline, diesel, um, those are up, but that's you have one of those is it whack wigs. What's wax? Wax. Wax. When you bring the rest up, <coughs> so we're not going to get into that. Right. I'm just pointing out one of the ones I pointed out the other night that has. Um, money that will be moved to fund 24 yeah. for her bus that had been uh, classified in the wrong place. Okay. Place. So so just for everybody here, right. don't get all crazy over that. And then um, the grounds and fields was the other thing that went up. And you, you know, you have an entire list here of all the different things that you're, you're doing. Um, was there one in particular that, that you know, that you added or that just needed more Well, work? I put in um, skateboard maintenance again, and I put in um, skate park maintenance, I should say, and I added the playground surfacing because I didn't have enough money to buy all that I needed uh -huh. this year. Okay. So those are kind of big ticket items in yeah. grounds and fields. Okay, thank you. That explains that completely. Um, and, and equipment maintenance is the other thing. It seems that the equipment seems to break down more often than I would like. That's the other big ticket item in that line item with this equipment. Yeah. John Deere tractor. Well, things happen. That's okay. Well, that explains it. Mm -hmm. All right. Anybody? Um, anybody from any committee members have any questions or comments? Tim. So you went from these are seasonal. You went from uh, eleven to fourteen. <coughs> 
the I have I have two guy I have two guys that work for me right now, mm-hmm. and they they're part time employees. One's a foreman and one's an assistant. I also have a position in the budget that was for 640 hours, just a seasonal summertime employee, like you know, a high school kid or a college kid, something right. to work um, during the summers. But no one applied for the job, it w- and that job was offered at ten dollars an hour. So we desperately need help in the parks department. So um, I tried to raise some hours for them. I, I really need a part-time, I mean, a full-time person down there. But I tried finagling it to see if I could get some more hours down there and I you know also gave them a raise because they're making less money than some of the other people that work for me and they're outside in the parks and they should be making something comparable to what the public works employees make so that's what I had done what the solution was was to put them back at 28 hours and to raise to add another employee so there'd be another seasonal employee so there would be four employees but in order to attract some people to the jobs for the summer, we also put the rate, put a pay, pay rate the same as something that someone would be working for public works. Is so the two ten to fourteen dollars to ten to fourteen for all four seasonal employees. No, okay. well, it's for two for the two seasonal employees. The other two are part time. Okay. So what I was saying to you is by Hold t- down now. I can only okay. so quickly. <laughs> I'm getting Sorry. old. If you haven't noticed already. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> So we've got two seasonal employees. And two part-time and a, employees. And you're incrementing their, the pay for those positions 40% from 10 to right. $14. And we didn't have anyone in those positions last year. It's the part-time guys that... And that what happened when there was no one in those positions? Right? We're just behind on work. We don't, we don't What have, kind of work didn't get done? Uh, we have signs that needed to go up. We have, the, only, we have uh, the playground. We had pieces to go on the playground that didn't go on yet. Um, we had bleachers that USS Hampton came and built for us mm-hmm. because we didn't have time to do it. There's this a ton of work that didn't get done. Mm-hmm. So we're trying to play catch up right now. So hopefully. So previously, you had one seasonal, is that what I heard? Yeah. And now you're moving to two seasonal. Correct. But we have two part time right now that are working. And they're the two that they do, they remove their pay increase. So I'd like to at least give them something. Well, I don't want to deal with the seasonal right now. As I'm trying to understand, we went. I understand the the, the logic behind moving from ten to fourteen dollars an hour. Mm-hmm. What I don't get yet is why we're going from one to two seasonal employees. What's causing that extra workload or need for additional labor? I should say. Well, I used to have five. Five seasonal. Employees. I used to have five. Well, what happened? Well, they got moved around and taken away and gone to public works or whatever. So now I'm I'm down to to one, and I didn't even I wasn't even able to to so fill that like position. So farm system for DPW. Pretty much farm system. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now we're going back to two seasonal. Even though you had five once upon a time. How long ago was that? Probably seven or eight years ago. Yeah, and do you still have a need for five? I don't think I, I don't know if I have a need for five. Mm-hmm. I do need, I, I need more employees than what I have is pretty much what I need. Okay, so the, the seasonal uh, positions are now two, and they're going from $10 an hour, the starting rate at McDonald's, to 14 right. <coughs> yes. the approximate starting rate at DPW. I Correct. Guess you're okay. Correct. Got it. Now the part-time, you've got two part-timers. Correct. And because we're giving the seasonal people more money, you need to give the part-timers more money? No, I, they, they ended up not getting a, an, even a 3% raise. And now the one that's the assistant would be making less money than the seasonal employee. That's clearly not right. Yeah, it just kind of all rolls up, doesn't it? Right. But how does that affect the part-timers, uh, the non-seasonal part-timers, relative, relative pay? I mean, do we have the same problem there? Hold on, hold on, Tim. Tim, hold on just a minute. I'm sure I don't understand that. Okay, this is getting very confusing. <laughs> yeah. I, just tell me what you're asking for. You're asking for a 3% raise for those two I people. would like to have those two guys get some form of a raise. Uh, what something. are we talking about? Those two guys being part-time. Yes. <laughs> so That work year-round. Yes. Right. Okay, what are they getting now? So the They're, assistant is making 1304 Okay. He should make, be making at least fifteen dollars an hour if he's going to make more than the okay, part time. Do you have a percentage? Or? I don't know what that percent would be. Okay, but you have 
I'd have on. to. You want to move to 15? Okay, hold on, hold on just for a minute, yeah. both of you. Regina, you, as a select person, do you have well, something yeah, that you well, want to... Well, yeah, well, first of all, this is the first I'm hearing about this. I just think it got... I, I just noticed it myself. Like, no, that's oh, fine. <laughs> I, no, believe me, nothing... But this is, first of all, operations, and then we just, two sections ago, whatever we were viewing, we just said how raises are going to be left with the selectmen, and now we're taking it up. So not consistent to me, and I mean, I'm all for your budget right now. I wish that... She's you know, got a good I'm point. just finding out about this now, so I very, will not be voting on and this And you know tonight. what? No, no. You make a good point. If we vote. You make a very good so point. You know. We're not going okay. to. We're not going and to. And it's nothing against. We're going to no, do. I get it. Budget. Okay, we're going to do what I suggested before, and that is that the selectmen give raises. Right, okay? that's fine. That's the way it should work. So yep. if you would please approach the town manager, yep. he can talk to the selectmen, and then we'll, we'll go from there. We're going to have to, we can approve what we have in front of us tonight, and then if you give raises when we do our reconsideration of the budget we right. will, of course at that point that reconsider that's perfectly it. fine i just i, I just recognized it and said i can't just yeah. let that go no no i understand guys, so. when i was when i was looking at this at home i i was getting confused just looking <laughs> at it because you you know because of the right. adding and then subtracting and <clears throat> and making people they go from you know down to seasonal and then back up to yeah. it was seemed a little confusing to me as well so i think Tim, it's best. That's my explanation. That's, right, that's, that's fine. I didn't mean yes, to overstep. But, I didn't but mean to you, overstep. No, 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 no. That's okay. We're 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 learning as we go here. Okay. So you understand where we are now, Tim? Well, I'm getting there. So the two seasonal employees you would like to see move up from 1304 to 15, right? No, seasonal employees oh, are. Me, the two part timers. One of them, and one. the other one would be moving up higher. What the is, foreman would be. What is the foreman at now? 16, 1630. Okay. Again, again. I, 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 I'm trying to get but, information here. Yeah. And what do, you, what do you think is appropriate now for that? For his position? Yeah. What do I this, think is appropriate? Is, we should be talking. This shouldn't be here. This, we should yeah, be we should be talking about this. All right. Is I'm going to stop. The hold place, on. The time. I'm going to hold on. Hold on. I want to know what her thoughts are. I think that's quite valid. She considers the budget uh, 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 underfunded for her needs. I want to know what her thoughts are behind that consideration. I'm not making any motions to make changes. I simply want to have information. Now, would you give me your thoughts on what he, what you think he ought to be raised to? Well, what I had put in before was I was hoping for um, at least $19 an Thank hour. Thank you. Jenna, um, I prefer you didn't talk about this anymore. Talk to the, I, talk I to the you know, go to, talk I've, to Fred, have them talk to the selectmen, and then that's where we'll go from that's there. Fine. Please, I, just I know you answered his question. <laughs> very polite, thank you very yeah. much. But that's the best I think <coughs> we need to do. Okay, Tim, anything else? I mean, I have the floor back again. Yes, you do. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We're just I, not I am done. Okay, thank you very much, Tim. Um, Sonny, you had something you wanted yeah, to ask? Yeah, I had a Diana? question. Talking uh, about revenue, I don't see it. It's not topic. It's we're that's in parks and recreation right now. Parking lot is next. Okay. Okay, anything else for this section? Seeing none. Um, you have, let me see, the next thing, parking administration. Excuse me. You oh, I'm sorry. Can vote on this? Or oh, on budget. sorry. Thank or you very much, <coughs> Jeff. You're always such a help to me. <laughs> Except when I'm being a pest, right? Well, no, <laughs> sometimes. Um, so who made the motion? Mr. Henderson. Henderson, Mr. Henderson and Tim. Well, second 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 okay, all those in favor of this motion? And it's unanimous. Thank Mr. you very Chairman. much. No, yes. I, I'm abstaining. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't. I'm sorry. I missed. Uh, I, I missed uh, Regina. Sorry, seven. Passing seven. As it was presented to us. Seven uh, passed. I stated earlier, I would be abstaining from this budget tonight. Okay. Thank oh. you, Regina. Um, Regina abstained. Barbara. Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. Can I make a motion that the budget committee encourages the selectmen to relook at the payroll on Fox and Recreation? Why, thanks. Not making any recommendations, just encouraging them to look at it again. You're making a motion? Yes. Is there a second to that motion? Seeing none? No. Sorry. Okay, moving right. along. 